Hello and welcome back to the N Squared World Domination Society. Today we will be building an amplifier made out of a cereal box based on a design I found in a Make magazine. Alright, first things first, solder the 8 pin dip socket onto a breadboard. Then, take a 9 volt battery connector and solder it to a positive and negative line. Next, connect a 0.01 MF capacitor to pin 2 and an unused row. And for reference, these are the numbers of each pin. Then, connect pin 5 to an unused row using a 10 ohm resistor. Then, connect the same empty row to the ground using a 0.047 MF capacitor. After that, solder two wires onto your audio jack as shown though your jack might look a bit different. Then, connect the black wire to ground and the red wire to the 0.01 MF capacitor. Next, cut and strip the positive wire on the 9V battery connector and connect both ends to a switch. This will, of course, become your power switch. Then, solder a red wire to the rightmost leg of your potent meter and connect it to pin 1 and connect the center leg to pin 8. Next, connect the positive and negative using a 100 MF capacitor, and make sure the longer leg is on the power rail. Then, connect the longer leg of the 220 MF capacitor to pin 5 and the short leg to an unused row. And connect the unused row to the rightmost pin on your second potent meter. The center pin of that potent meter then goes to the positive pin on your speaker. Okay, now this gets a bit complicated. Connect the ground of the speaker and the ground line on the board to the leftmost pin of the second potent meter. Finally, connect pins 3 and 4 to ground, and then connect pin 6 to positive. The circuit is now complete, so you should probably test it now. After testing, trace the speaker onto your box. Then, use your soldering iron to burn holes through the box. Huh. I feel all, uh, weird all- Well, uh, this is a little bit embarrassing. Apparently, the camera died at some point during that last bit of making the Cracker Box am. Uh, thankfully though, we were just at the end. Uh, all you missed is me soldering the holes for the stereo jack. Uh, the two potent meters, the lever, and a bunch of holes for over the speaker. But, uh, now we're done, and uh, this is what it sounds like. I have no clue how that sounded on the camera, but, uh, here we go. Alright, that's it for today. I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, please consider liking and sharing it. Subscribe so you can catch all the amazing robotics, electronics, and 3D printing projects I have planned. Thanks for watching.